A recent report shows most tourism sector players do not adhere to the required standards, especially hygiene. Uganda Tourism Board is embanking on uplifting sector standards to international level. For you to legally run a tourism enterprise business, you are required to register with Uganda Tourism Board, then we get to inspect the business and then we license you. By the time we license you, that means you meet the minimum standards that is required. Whether you are a restaurant, whether you are an accommodation facility, whether you are a tour company, a travel agent or a tourist destination. Local and international investors in Uganda's tourism industry are cautioned against laxity in the provision of services. According to Lily Ajarova, the CEO Uganda Tourism Board, positive guest reviews is crucial in sector revival. Tourism business operation, whether it is a destination, a tourist cultural site, whatever it is, the national parks, whatever it is, we want to have standards. We need to be regulated. And um, this is for the benefit of growing the sector because we need to be competitive. They are training them, they are doing inspections, they are they're training the people, the stakeholders out there, especially the private sector, to ensure that their accommodation facilities and other areas are rejuvenated after the COVID hit down process. It's been too tough on them. Many of them have not yet started working again, but many of them are coming up slowly, slowly by slowly. So we, as who, who have the mandate to support efficient and effective services, uh, around the country. We are in support and we are going to support the tourism board. The tourism industry is steadily recovering from the severe effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. With the reopening of the economy, a surge of domestic and international tourists is being experienced. Joshua Kagoro, Valeria Tumuhechi, UBC News.